The absence of recurring tasks in Notion was one of the things that was making me doubt whether to use Notion or not in the first place. But well, Notion had so many more features, so regardless of that, I decided to just go all in. But since the very beginning, I've been trying to replicate the recurring tasks feature. And after two other trials, it's just been now when I have found one way to have recurring tasks in Notion that is simple enough for me to use consistently and that it just takes three minutes to set up. Let me show you how it looks. Okay, so there was two methods that I was using before. One was relying on using formulas. And basically these formulas, what they did was to make a task reappear depending on the periodicity that we set. So if the periodicity was set for weekly, that task will be marked as not done every week. But the downside of this is that there was not a new task that was created every week. So it was always the same task, but just changing the status automatically. And I didn't really like this method because then I was not able to see everything that I did in the past month. So it was then when I started to use the second method, which was when the API finally got released. And I started using Zapier for creating periodically those recurring tasks. In the beginning, I was super, super excited about this, but there was also a con. They were a little bit difficult to set up. I also needed a paid plan for Zapier and in the end, it was very, very hard to edit them just in case, let's say, I want to move a recurring task from every Friday to every Saturday. So what that was causing me was to, even if I needed to create a new recurring task, I was not doing it because I wanted just to avoid the setup process and that was not cool. So after using these two methods, I realized that I wanted certain requirements for this recurring task feature. I wanted it to be flexible. So if I want to change a task from every Friday to every Saturday, it's super easy to do. I wanted that it was easy to add new recurring tasks. And I also wanted to create a new entry, a new task for each recurring task. So I didn't want to reuse the same one over and over again. So finally, I have found a quite easy solution. And when you see it, you will think that it's kind of stupid, but that actually matches all these requirements. Okay, so let me show you. Here I have an empty page where I'm going to start creating one page for each of the recurring tasks. So for this example, I'm just going to create one slash page. So let's say that is write newsletter and I'm going to go back. So then what I'm going to do is to create a link database to my tasks database. Of course, we need a task database for, for this. So if you don't have yours, just create it linked database to my tasks. And what we want here is to have a calendar view. So let's change the view to calendar. Now just let's use some filters so we don't see everything that is already done. So filter. Okay, status is not done. And also because I have here some events, I also want to hide them from here and the way that I'm seeing if their events is project is not event. Okay. So these are all my unfinished tasks. So why am I putting this calendar over here? Because from here I can drag this page into the tasks database. And once is here, you can see that the due date in this case, is set for that day where I drag the task into. But one thing that is very interesting about this process is that here I can now write all the metadata that I need for this particular task. Don't worry because we haven't set yet up the recurring feature, but just bear with me because this is going to be in the end. So now let's just focus that we can add this metadata. So every time that we create this task somehow, this metadata is going to be saved. So let's say that the dollar task of this is uh, $100. This is, this is a method that I, that I took from Kehi that is about how to prioritize tasks. Uh, the project is Notion Business. The status is going to be always not started and the estimated time from one to two hours. Then I don't need to put anything else as metadata and that's it. So now if I put this outside here, there is nothing, but if I put this back in, in another day, doesn't matter. 
all this metadata is still here. So why is this important? Because now let's put it outside and now we are going to create a method to make this recurring. So we are going to create a template button and we are going to put this inside. If you don't know how a template button works, this is basically a button. This will be how the button looks. And whenever we click on this button, all this that is where it says template, all of this is going to be created. Okay, now let's change this into generating weekly recurring tasks. So every time that we want to generate the bulk of our recurring task, we will just click here. Oh, look what happened that he just went into the task itself. So this is a little bit pain in the ass. So let's fix this. Let's configure the template, add a new block and put it on top. So now if we close this, let's delete this and we generate the tasks, they will just appear here, okay? Which is much more convenient because what we want to do now is to just move this task to next Saturday, let's say. And here we can see that all this metadata is already inside of the task. So maybe now you are saying, okay, Danny, but this is not automatic per se, right? And you are right. If you've been following my channel for a little long, you already know that I don't want to let my brain think. That's it. I always want to create processes that remind me of what I need to do. So I'm afraid that if I leave this as is, I will have to remember every week to create this recurring task, which is something that probably I will forget. So what I have done instead is to include this into my weekly review, which is something a little bit bigger than just creating recurring tasks that I do consistently. So let me show you how this works in my weekly review. Here I go to the page where I do my reviews. This is the current week and let's run the review. By the way, if you're interested in an explanation of how all of this works and what I do every week, I'm gonna link over here the video in which I explain all this weekly review. But for now, we just care about the part of the process, which is just for me to plan my week, okay? Because the first part is just review the week. So within this uh, workflow, I have now here this template button that we just created, which is to generate my weekly tasks. So whenever I hit it, this is the four weekly tasks that I have. So whenever I'm scheduling my task, which is something that I do, as I said, every week, I will just have to drop them into whatever date I need to do them. And I love doing it this way, even if it's a little bit manual, because like this, I can choose every week when I need to get each of these done. With the previous methods, it was a little bit more cumbersome to do this modification. But like this, every week I can decide and it doesn't take more than 10 seconds to do. Well, so I have been using this for a little bit over a month and I can say that this is so much lighter, so much better. I don't know, it makes me feel kind of good than the other methods that I was using. Right now, if I wanna add a new task, it is as easy as just create a new page here and do the same process of adding the metadata and that is it. So it's much more flexible. I sincerely hope that Notion will include this feature natively, but before that, we have to find these other ways to do so. So what do you think of this method? Are you gonna give it a try? Or maybe perhaps you were doing it in a different way. Well, anyway, share it in the comments so we can all learn from each other and maybe find even better methods than this one. So now creating recurring tasks is part of my beloved weekly review that helps me put all my weeks in place before I start them. And I cannot live without this process right now. So if you're interested in seeing how this process exactly looks, I'm gonna leave you the video over here in which I will explain you the process step-by-step. Step. I'm sure that you will find a lot of ideas there. And by the way, it's one of my most popular videos on the channel. So I'm sure you will love it. So that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.